gold will not stop me from picking up cool things. So, I did not show you what I picked up Use the, the right other night. Lane to turn right on Middle Town but Odessa Road. after this pickup, I'll show you what I'm picking up now and what I picked up a couple days ago. So. <laughs> This place is in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and it's an old aluminum thermometer. So I'm pricing it at the 60s or 70s, I believe, and it works. And it's in great shape, so I came up here and got it. North Wilmington, why not? I'm bored, and sometimes I get bored buys, and this is one of them. So let's take it back to the shack, and I'll show you some more things. So we're back home, and there's the grass refrigerated thermometer. And it works. As you can see, we are standing at 66 in the house. But what you didn't know I picked up the other night was this bag of goodies. You know what's in there? Huh? It's toys. It's toys. There's a piece of that, the bug eye. I think it's called the bug eye. And that can sell alone. If you want to actually make a little bit more money, you probably could part out these vehicles. G.I. Joe stuff and make more money, but I don't do that. But since I came like that, I will sell it like that. And I got two bags of Joes to boot. That guy there, he's original McCoy. These dudes are a little bit newer dudes. And they got their weapons too. He's missing an arm. Stuff happens. Look. bag of weapons maybe the arms in there maybe the arms in here there you go this guy's a, a vintage one this these are better than what i thought they were let's get them out let's go through them there's your first bag right there so that came with that and the 10 buck bag he's whole weapons doodad couple arms missing on the uh fly fly trap or whatever the hell his name is I just made that up. I don't know what he's naming it. So that's bag number one, we'll say. And I say they're the vintage ones. I know this dude's from the uh, 80s. I think he is too, so. Out of this bag's a ting a ling a ling of the weapons, what you want, because weapons alone are worth good money. Here's newer G.I. Joes, I believe. Matter of fact, I'm almost sure they are. There's a... Bad guy, bad guy. I don't know about him. Yeah, these are a little taller too. These might be six inches. Let's let's match them up. Ah, same size. So maybe they're not six inches. That dude. Uh, he's these are all bad guys. I think I see the cobra. Cobra sign on them. These are newer ones, but they're still. They're still not bad. So you're let me get them all out. There they are. They're all out and they got their weapons. So you get the weapons in the bag. No cards. They're not carded figures. There they are. GI Joes, I buy them every time I can get them for cheap. And a thermometer. Today's and two days ago, in the in the middle of the night, I went and got these. It, it wasn't the middle of the night, but it was dark. 30. 25. I will easily, easily get the dough back. I'll keep that for a while. I uh, just do. I like thermometers and all that stuff. That's out of, if I hadn't said before, that's Scranton, PA. Uh, that place is that. So there you go. It's today's pickups. Vintage and newer. G.I. Joe's, these might be vintage too. I'll have, let me look on the butt and see if I can get a date. Can't find the dates on them, so. Oh, well. I still 
believe that at least half are vintage. I know the date's right on him. He's like 84, 85. So quick pick. Not bad. I'll take it. Uh, these are my pickups. I'm going to grab toys. They're good to have and uh, they're easy to ship. So till next time, this is my latest GI Joe's and a vintage thermometer. Till next time, Harry Homestone saying, later.